Today on Walk Through Texas History, we take a look at one of the little-known Texas heroes of the early republic. Join me, shall you? James T. Collinsworth was born in 1806 in Tennessee. His father, Edward, was a Revolutionary War veteran and later was a veteran of the War of 1812 and the Battle of New Orleans. By 1816, his father had passed away. And in 1823, James had been admitted to the bar in Tennessee at the age of 17 years old. He later became manager of the inaugural ball for President Andrew Jackson. He was also appointed District Attorney for the Western District of Tennessee, and by 1835, he decided to resign that position and he moved to Texas, where his brother, John Collinsworth, who had graduated from West Point, had become Inspector General of the Texan Army by Sam Houston. He also had two cousins, George and David Collinsworth, who had been in Texas since 1835 and had led the attack at Goliad. In March of 1836, James was one of the three delegates from Brazoria County at the convention at Washington on the Brazos. It was James who struck the gavel that opened the convention, and James was nominated by his old friend, Sam Houston. After the convention, in April of 1836, Collinsworth was appointed Aide de Camp by Sam Houston. He was a veteran of the Battle of San Jacinto to gain Texas its independence. He later served as the Acting Secretary of State for President Burnett in April and May of 1836. Later in the year, he turned down an offer to become Attorney General for the Young Republic. He was, however, elected Senator and then in December of 1836, appointed to Chief Justice, a post he would hold until his death. Among his accomplishments was he was also a co-founder of the city of Richmond. In 1838, Collinsworth was a candidate along with Lamar and Grayson for presidency of the Young Republic. He announced his candidacy in June of 1838. But on July 11th, 1838, after a week of heavy drinking, Collinsworth fell off a boat in Galveston Bay and drowned. Many assumed at the time he had committed suicide. However, I'm not under that belief. His body was recovered and taken at Buffalo Bayou to Houston, where it lay in state at the Capitol. Chief Justice Collinsworth was buried at the city cemetery, now Founder Cemetery, in Houston. He had the very first Masonic funeral in the Young Republic. In 1876, a county was named in his honor, Collingsworth County, misspelled with an added G. It is up near the Panhandle, and Wellington is its county seat. While most people don't know much about James Collingsworth, I hope this short video will help you see a little more about a man in, in mystery. He was a young man in the Republic of Texas. He died at the age of 32. And without him, who knows? Maybe the, the young Republic wouldn't have lasted as long. Or maybe it wouldn't have got its freedom. He's one of the few hidden puzzle pieces that made up that young Republic. There's a few good books out there on him. Uh, one in general, uh, I would recommend. Too Good to Be True, uh, James Collinsworth and the Birth of Texas. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for, for watching and 
Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and subscribe below. Thanks again. Have a good one.